SK Ranam. The sixth title is Communication. Communication, SK Ranam. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk about communication. But today I learned something new. I didn't realize I come from the Malaysian best. You see, I too come from MBS. <laughs> yeah. So, but he's from KL, I'm from St. Peter. Different parts, different parts. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk about communications. After all, we come to Toastmasters to communicate. And communication is very important to us so that we can express ourselves and understand each other. And well, the moment you understand each other and know what to, what to say, what to do, there will be no problems in your life. So communication is very, very important. And here in this Toastmasters, we, we do our projects and our projects, yeah, all in English. And when we speak in English, we think we know English very, very well. Well, most of us do know English well. But do you know there's a sub-language in English? There's an English lecturer, professor there. There's a sub-language. And this sub-language is actually used not by everybody, but by the females. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. When the ladies speak English, or for the matter, any other language, they could be Chinese, Tamil, Malay, or anything, but there are certain words and expressions which is which is only used by them, and they know the meaning. Yes, that is the sub-language of the English language. And ladies and gentlemen, and this is where, I don't know how many of you are here married, are going steady, are going to get married, you guys, especially the men, better learn this language if you want to have a peaceful life in, in your life. Understand? So, and so all married men actually over the years, we learn this language. But sometimes along the way we forget it. We, we just completely forget there's another language when your spouse or girlfriend speaks to you. And we always have a straight mind, we think like it, the word means this, and we do that, and we get into trouble. So ladies and gentlemen, so when you come into Toastmasters here, you not only learn about English, but the, the, the tenses, the, the, you know, the special meaning in each word and all that. And you'll be very surprised, some of you may not know this, in Yunnan, there is a tribe. There's a tribe in Yunnan where the ladies speak a different language from the men. Can you beat that? The ladies speak a different language. They even write the language in a different character. Character. And but they, they live in the same villages, they get married, they have children, and I don't know how's that, but whatever it is, there's a separate language. And if you don't believe me, you can go into the uh, Wikipedia and check it out. The name of the language is Nushu. Nushu, N-U-S-H-U. You can check it out. So can you imagine the extent some ladies or women go into? They create a completely new language just for themselves. So we men don't know what they're talking, what they're saying, what they're thinking. So ladies and gentlemen, please remember, especially you guys, and especially those who are going to get married. Now, let's take President Donald Trump from uh, United States, the current President of the United States. He always seems to have a problem with the women journalists. Each time he meets them, talks with them, has an interview with them, at the end of the day, he condemns them, he, he, he puts them down, and he says all sorts of things. The trouble is, the women, they talk in their own language, in their own way and all that. But he's a man and he, he doesn't believe in going sideways or anything. He goes straight and he doesn't understand what you're talking about. So he gets angry. He gets angry, they get angry, everybody gets angry. And that's why there's no communication. So again, talking about these special languages is very strange. 
especially for those married guys, when we stay at home, our wives have pets. They could have a cat, they could have a dog, or they could even have a chicken. I've seen it in couples where they talk to these animals. And the funny thing is the animals, they can understand the language. But when they talk to us, we have a problem. So can you imagine? I know. I sit from the TV. My wife is there. Our dog is there. Now there's no more dog. There's a cat. And she talks. She talks. And she talks in English. She talks in Cantonese. But the cats seem to understand. They're very intelligent, I know. That's very intelligent. They can understand. So, so ladies and gentlemen, we, we have to pick up this language. Because any time, any extra language is very good for us. It helps us in communication. Now, let me tell you again about this English language. Let's say last Sunday you're preparing your speech for today, the human speech. You're sitting in front of the computer. Your ideas are flowing, and you're typing out your term. And then your wife comes to you, and she says, honey, the washing machine is not working. Can you please check it up? Can you do something about it? But then when you're sitting in front of your computer, your ideas are flowing, you don't want to move. The moment you know you move out, you come back, your ideas are gone. Your mind is blank. You can't do anything. So, you, honey, will you please wait 10 minutes or 20 minutes? I will, I'll finish it. I'll come and attend to it. No, sir. No way. They will insist. And when you insist, you want to do it, you say, okay, whatever it is, okay, she'll walk off. Now, what is the meaning of the word okay? Is she telling you to carry on? What's the meaning? And then there you are. She says, okay, isn't it? So you sit down. Not uh, 10 minutes, you are there for 45 minutes. <laughs> so you see how communication is. So ladies and gentlemen, we all have to learn how to communicate this special language. And it is very important. And then they say, ladies are very, very clear and audible. Yeah, natural, they used to shout at the other men. So ladies and gentlemen, Please come to, when you come here to try to learn all languages, over to you. <laughs>